application of the Queen, on the application of uh, Medical Justice and Secretary of Afghanistan and the Secretary of State of Thank you. Um, Mr. Kerr, thanks. Sincere apologies to everybody for, for troubling you again. Um, although I did sit down yesterday and hand it over to uh, Ms. Ray QC, if I may, can I briefly raise three matters? Um, the first is that in the light of the exchanges between the bench and myself yesterday, I thought it might be helpful if I put in writing a note on one aspect of this case, which is an important aspect, namely access to justice. Yes. Uh, and I've done that. I appreciate you have had an opportunity to um, read, learn, and inwardly digest, as the Pair of Prayer book, book says. Um, I've mentioned this briefly to my learned friends. I've given them a copy. They've had equally little time to study it. And so, of course, they are entitled to make whatever objections they do. And Miss Kilroy QC has already made it clear to me she's, she does object. But that's a matter on which I will need to ask you to, to rule. I do submit that it's still technically part of my reply to the appellate's opening of the case. And as between Miss Bree and myself, we're all part of the same team. Um, so if I do need permission, I do ask for it. So um, this is, this, this is um, what, four pages, five, four, four pages and two lines. And it does what? Distills your submissions that you advanced yesterday on access to justice. Aspect. Yes. Okay. And can I, this is the second matter of the three that I wish to raise. In, in particular, arising out of that, that paragraph 10 of the, um, note. of the note, can I also ask you to add a reference to one of the cases that the Lord Chief Justice briefly referred to yesterday, and that's your judgment in SB. SB yes. is... Authorities Bundle, Volume 1, Tab 25, at page uh, 468, and in, in particular it's paragraph 71 to 79. Now, the reason I, I respectfully ask you to note this, I'm not going to take you to it now. Could you just give us the, the paragraph number? Yes, 71 to 79. It's because it's an allegation where there were late Article 3 representations. He was put on the plane. And the first instance, Judge, ordered him to be brought back. Uh, we appealed, and this court, presided over by, by Lord Chief Justice, reversed that order and reversed the order to take back. And it contains, if I may respectfully say so, and um, deliberately contains helpful guidance on, on last minute representations. And that's in the particular context of Article 3, which is one of the matters you taxed me with yesterday, because it is, as we're all acknowledged, an unqualified right. Yes. Um, so just to, to mark that down as a cross-reference. Uh, the third of the three matters may be the most controversial, and it's this. Um, when I sent my draft notes to the clients, what I got back um, unsolicited was a, a, a detailed email from Mr. Pomper. Now, you may recall he's the head of OSCU, and he's given a number of witness statements in these proceedings. Um, without giving evidence myself now, what he says in that email, gives very detailed chapter and verse as to what, in practice, actually happens with last-minute representations, up to including the plane taking off and indeed landing. Now, I appreciate that it will be said against me, because it's been flagged up already, that this, this could have been put in earlier. Well, technically, of course, of course that is true. But I do respectfully submit, and it's a matter on which you, you will need to rule, that as sometimes happens in litigation, in the course of the argument in this court, the focus of the issues has narrowed in rather more on last-minute representations as opposed to absolute rights and varies rather more than it did in the judgments below, as is apparent from reading them, or indeed from the skeleton arguments in this case. And because it is an important point, and it's not a point confined to one particular applicant, it's a point potentially that's going to affect every single removal. Um, and I appreciate it is late. Uh, I do respectfully ask for uh, at least liberty to apply. I appreciate you're unlikely to grant me permission not having seen the thing. Liberty to unlikely <laughs> understates the position. <laughs> well, you won't. So, I wasn't intending to be put this. Um, no, no, no. Liberty to apply to within whatever deadline you set me. Um, to put in a further statement from Mr. Pomper on that one very specific point. What happens actually in 
praxis on these very last minute representations by the Secretary of State. It doesn't go to any any other matters in that. Well, it, all right. Well, let, let, let's take these uh, one at one at uh, one at a time. Um, the, the note on access to justice, um, Miss uh, Miss Nike and um, Miss uh, Kilroy. I mean, this this is a, a distillation of, of the submissions. Um, I can't begin to think that you would have any problems with it. I haven't read it completely no, no, no. yet, but I entirely, I imagine it's, if it is just what was um, well, even if it's a helpfully new submission. reduced to paper, then, then even that's if it's a, a, Even if it were a new submission. But uh, if it's a new submission which I haven't yet identified, then I would need some time to respond to it. But I don't know that that specific case that's important. No, 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 if but, it is, um, then I would. Uh, my Lord, the objection that I indicated to my learned friend was in relation to the new evidence. Yes. Um, well, I thought uh, this I have not properly read. I've read very quickly. Well, obviously, what I would ask is an opportunity to read it before my reply properly and discuss it with my team, but only a short time. Um, because the, if, it, if it had been uh, put in submissions yesterday, I would have had a proper opportunity yes, well, to, to read it. Yes, you must have an opportunity to read it. But, but I don't expect I'll need very long. Um, and it may be that there are a couple of factual assertions in it that we may need to come back on, and it's that that I need for yes, time. Yes, well, of course, you must have time to read it properly. Um, yes. And, uh, but otherwise, I don't object for, for the reasons no. that my learning friend Miss Knight has given. Um, it's, the, it's the evidence. <laughs> yes, well, it's... Well, Mr. Kovacs, I'm, I'm, I'm a little puzzled about how we should deal with, with this sort of contingent application to put in evidence after the argument is complete um, and where that would where that would go and I, I'm well my lord yes I do apologize uh, in, entirely it's, it's my side's fault um, I can only say that until I actually got this email I wasn't expecting anything of the sort wasn't expecting anything but having read it and in the light of the exchanges that have taken place and the general importance of the issue, which I do have to emphasise, I do respectfully submit that it will actually turn out to be helpful. Now, even if we put that all to one side, I can see that there is a further potential objection that what Mr Pomper would say goes to what happens in practice, and it's precisely because it's talking about what happens in practice, not what is written down in the policy yes. that I'm asking for evidence. And I appreciate that may be a further complication. But I do respectfully submit, given the, the general importance of the issue, that it will be helpful to everybody in the long term if they are aware of what the actual practice of the Secretary of State is. Um, Mr. Kovacs, uh, um, in, in brief discussion, um, I think our, our provisional view at least is that we, we, we simply can't deal with a contingent provisional application in respect of evidence that hasn't yet been put together um, right at the end of, of, of an, an appeal, and quite apart from anything else, you'd, you'd, you'd have to make a proper application and lab and marshal and all the rest of it. And um, I think our, our provisional view, at least, is that it's just too, it's just too late at this stage. And, and, and I'm bound to say that I'm not I'm not really clear what what legal issue you're, you're submitting this could go to. I mean, the the, the broad way in which the um, um, relevant part of, of the system, OSCU, deals with late representations is something is something of which my lords and I have had intimate experience over many years. And so unless it's being suggested that it's, it, it, it's uh, changed fundamentally of late, um, in speaking for myself, I, I'm not convinced this is likely to be very helpful at all. Well, no, well I, I fully understand all of that. Can I... Um, respectfully make the following suggestion. This is the email. It's obviously not evidence, let alone evidence that this court has allowed in. But could I respectfully ask the bench, and I'll give it to my learned friends if they want, just have a glance at it, just so you know no, what I'm talking about. No, but Mr. 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 
Pervets, you can't ask us to look at something without giving it to well, give it to your other parents. parents. And but in, 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 well, what I'm going to suggest we do is rise for 10 minutes, and no more than 10 minutes, to enable um, Miss Knight and Miss Kilroy to read your document um, uh, and, and uh, reflect on whether it, it, it um, affects the replies that you were intending to, to uh, make in short order fairly soon. So that would be step one. I'm grateful. Step two, um, might, I, might I suggest that you show uh, Miss Nike and Miss Kilroy the email. Now, um, if what the email describes, whether, it's, whether it goes to any real legal issue in this case or not, I, I know not, but if what it describes is what happens um, when um, uh, late fresh claims and other claims are made shortly before removal, then I, I would be very surprised if anything it contains is remotely controversial. So I would have thought the first thing is for the parties to have a look at it and um, try and avoid a, a, a sort of argument about something that really, really doesn't take us very far or matter. I mean, uh, so we'll, we'll rise for 10 minutes and hope we can sort this thing out.